guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the fourth video I have filmed today and my throat is so dry and I'm having so many troubles speaking, like I'm getting tongue tied, I'm losing my words. So we'll see how this video goes. But uh, welcome back to my channel, thanks for joining. Today we're talking about November favorites. I know that this video is a little tiny bit late, but um, I had a really busy like end of November, early December. And this is the first time since the month ended that I've had a chance to sit down and film videos for you guys. So I hope that you don't mind that it's a little bit late. And this is also the time of year that I ask you guys, do you want to see an end of year favorites? I know that I do monthly favorites every single month. Um, and that's the one thing I've kind of held true on and I've consistently always done monthly favorites. Um, but at the end of the year, typically I do like an end of year best of the best favorites video, but it's just a lot of favorites because I'm also going to do a December favorite. So it's like November favorites, then December favorites, then 2018 favorites. And it's like favorites, 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 so many favorites. But do you guys want to see that? Do you want to see end of year favorites? I've done it a couple of different ways throughout the years. So sometimes I'll do like a top 18 of 2018 where I combine skincare and hair care and makeup all in one. I've also done, you know, not a limit to numbers, but just what my favorites were. I've done top hair care, top skin care, top makeup. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see it? Let me know. Let me know down below. But this video, we're going to talk about the products that I loved in the month of November. I cannot believe it's almost the end of the year. I know I say that every month, but like, I feel like it keeps going faster and faster and faster. And Christmas literally is almost here. Like it's like next week, it's almost here. <laughs> okay, so let's start out with a product that was part of my Shop My Stash. So I've started to do Shop My Stash videos. If you're unfamiliar, I will link my Shop My Stash down below for you. But essentially what my plan is, is every month I'm going to go through my current everyday makeup collection, which is my drawer down here. It's basically the drawer that I go to every day when I'm getting ready for work. Um, it's just my easy go-to makeup and sometimes I tend to get stuck in like a makeup rut and I use the same products over and over. My camera keeps shutting off and I don't know what's wrong so I'm sorry if this video is choppy. The last video was choppy too. It's I honestly do not know what's wrong so good camera? Are we good? Nope. Okay I took out the battery, blew in the battery hole, whew, replaced the battery. <laughs> That's what I did with Nintendo games, so hopefully that worked with my camera too, right? I don't know. Anyways, what I was saying is shop my stash, I go through my bigger makeup collection and kind of swap out those everyday makeup products in hopes to kind of rotate my makeup a little bit more and use those products that I otherwise forget about because they're over here instead of over here. Um, I rediscovered something, or I guess kind of discovered something that I bought a long time ago and never used, and I freaking love it, you guys. It is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. It's the bronzer that I'm wearing on my face today. It's the bronzer that I've been wearing mm, all month, really, every single day for the most part. It is so good. So this, this was a limited edition, like, release of Laguna. It's in this, like, big package. And it came with a little Eda brush, like a little version of their Eda brush. Um, but this particular bronzer is kind of what's in every single NARS like palette. It's kind of their staple bronzer for their collection. Think of it as like their Chocolate Soleil like Too Faced has. It's kind of like, you know, NARS bronzer. It's just the thing. So you can't get this particular packaging with the Eda brush anymore, but you can get the bronzer still. But here's what it looks like. It is a matte finish. I almost think there's maybe... No, it's a matte finish. I was going to say, maybe there's a sheen. Like, it doesn't look like a chalky matte. It's like a creamy matte, if that makes any sense at all. There might be a little bit of a sheen to it. Definitely no sparkle, no glitter. Um, you can contour with it, hence the reason it comes with an Eda brush. And it just has the most perfect neutral undertone to it. It is so pretty. It's not too orangey. It's not too gray. It really warms up the skin, but you don't look muddy or anything like that. It is so, 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 so good. I know I said so a lot, but like it is that good, you guys. It is, it's really, it's a really good bronzer. I really like it. Next up, I have an eyeshadow palette that I bought towards the beginning of the month, and I have to say I've literally used it non-stop since I bought it. It is so good. It's the Huda Beauty New Nudes Palette right here. This is the first Huda Beauty 
eyeshadow product that I've owned. I have some of her lipsticks, I have um, her powder, I have some of her lashes, but this is the first eyeshadow product that I've purchased. I know she has other palettes, but this one is so good, you guys. Here's what it looks like. I also really love the little plastic insert. I just love that it has like her face on it. I think that's a really pretty touch. But here's what it looks like. There are so many beautiful colors in here. It says it's a nude palette, but I think of it more as like a pinky berry palette. There are um, a million different looks you can get with this palette. There's a bunch of different finishes. You have a bunch of pressed, well, they're not really glitters. They're kind of like, they're just this beautiful, almost like metallic. I don't know if you can see, but there are some colors, kind of like this one right here, where there's almost like chunks of different color, like almost like they didn't blend it all the way, but like purposefully didn't blend it all the way. And when you blend it together, either with your finger or a brush, those particular shadows are just absolutely gorgeous. They have like a metallic, almost like metalized finish to them and they're so pretty. They're beautiful for all of her lid colors. They're just like so gorgeous. So there's a bunch of those in this palette. There are two pressed glitters, which pressed glitters kind of scare me, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but the mattes in this palette, there's like one kind of shimmery color right here. The rest are mattes and the mattes are so good. They blend so well. I also love the range of colors in here, the range of mattes. You have a bunch of mid-tone crease colors with different like tones to them. You have neutrals and warms and cools. Um, you have an all over cream color. There's also a concealer in here. I didn't realize this was a concealer until I went to use it as a shadow and it's like a creamy color or a creamy consistency. It's a concealer, which is actually kind of nice because you can use it to like set your or prime your eyes. Um, it's called concealed, so I guess I should have realized it was a concealer, but that is a cream color, which is also kind of odd that it's in a palette with powders, but whatever it works so needless to say i have been loving this palette and using it non-stop i have two more eyeshadows to tell you guys about two single shadows actually so this was also part of shop my stash this is my bobby brown luxe eyeshadow <laughs> i don't know i just think it's funny that they call it a luxe eyeshadow instead of just like an eyeshadow i guess this is the more like higher end version of their eyeshadows because they have other singles whatever um, it's in the color Moonstone, so I have to tell you guys, I went on a hunt trying to find this particular eyeshadow. I went to a million different stores, a million different websites. I had to basically stock the Bobbi Brown website, and it finally came back in stock eventually, and I picked it up, but this is such a pretty color. You can use it as like a highlight on your face, or you can use it as like an eyeshadow. It's just this, first of all, I really dug my finger in there because I really wanted to get a lot of product on there. Um, to show you guys what it looks like. Oh my god, it is to die for. It's one of those products where when you swatch it under the right light, almost like elevator light, or you know how Sephora always has like that beautiful, like sparkling, everything looks beautiful light. Same with Nordstrom, they have just like, everything looks better under their lighting. When you swatch it in their lighting, it's kind of one of those like, oh, like jewelry stores where just everything is glittery and sparkly. It looks beautiful under that light, but when you use it in natural light, I feel like it looks even better. You see how it's just like glowing? It almost looks wet. Like it is so, so, so good. Um, it's beautiful, but there is like kind of a little bit of glitter in it. So every time I wear it, I get a little bit of fallout on my cheeks, but it almost looks like highlighter just because of the tone of the shadow. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm talking really fast about this product. Um, I just love it so much. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing it as an all over lid color. Um, I have to say though, as soon as I started to use this, that was pretty much the only thing I used, but I kind of go back to this. I've also used it as a highlight on my cheeks too. Not today. I'm wearing all Too Faced today, but we'll save that for another video. The last eyeshadow I want to tell you guys about is something I picked up while I was doing some holiday shopping with my mom and my sister. This is from the MAC Holiday Collection. It is their I think it's a pressed pigment. I'm pretty sure it is because I have to usually set it with something or like use a wet brush for it to work. But it's called P is for Pink and it's kind of like this pinky bronzy eyeshadow color and it's really glittery, you guys. Really sparkly, really, really glittery. You can feel the glitter chunks in it, but it is gorgeous. There it is. You see how it has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it? but then you kind of shift it and it turns like a bronzy color. You see that? Kind of like bronze and then pink. 
I don't know. It is so cool. It's almost like a dual chromed glitter. It is so pretty. My mom actually bought the same color and she loves it. She's like, I get so many compliments every time I wear it. <laughs> My mom is so cute. Um, but yes, if you use this, make sure you use either a wet brush or a glitter base or something like that. I find that if I just kind of wet my finger and put it on with my finger, works perfectly fine. But it is so pretty and it is limited edition, so pick it up while you can. Um, really good. There are two lipsticks that I have found myself using over and over again this month. The first one is a Flower Beauty lipstick. Now I have to say the Flower Beauty formula is really, really good. It reminds me a lot of some of my more higher end matte lipsticks. It just has like a smooth, slightly waxy, but the fact that it's slightly waxy means it stays on your lips really long. They're long wearing, they wear evenly, and they're really, really comfortable on your lips, but they're matte, so they just, they wear super well. Um, this particular one is in the color Pink Dusk, and it's a cream finish, but it's like a matte cream, so it doesn't leave like a shiny or dewiness on your lips. It, I mean, you can see right there, that's the swatch, that's what it looks like on your lips but it just feels like a high-end lipstick and it's drugstore. So, definitely a good lipstick. I think all of the Flower Beauty lipsticks I own have that same, just like, luxe feeling. Like, it's hard to believe that they're drugstore brand. So, that one. And then the second one I've been wearing nonstop is the Clinique Lip Pop, lip color. It says it has a primer, a color, and a base all in one. Really? I didn't know that. I just read that on the bottom. I'm like, whoa. Um, anyways, it's in the color Nude Pop. It does wear really nice, so it doesn't surprise me that it's like an all-in-one product. And this one is definitely a lot lighter than the Flower Beauty one, but this one's nice for like kind of like everyday wear. Like it goes with everything, and it has that neutral undertone. It reminds me of the Nude Pop blush. So Clinique has Cheek Pops. Um, some of my favorite blushes are their Cheek Pops, and there's a Nude Pop pop version and it reminds me of that where it's like you can wear it with any eye look and it's not going to take away from your eye look it's comfortable you can't really overdo it and it just looks really really nice on lots of different skin tones so this one seems to have more of a shiny kind of cream finish almost almost glossy but not too glossy than the flower beauty one but they're both super super pretty Okay, the last thing I want to share with you guys is a skincare product. Now, this is an oil remover. It's by the brand Leaders. Leaders makes amazing sheet masks. They have really good products, you guys. But this is like a newer-ish product by them. It's their Daily Wonders What Happened Last Night Refreshing Cleansing Oil. You can tell I'm like getting out of breath. <laughs> I filmed too many videos today. I'm getting out of breath. Um, this is a really good makeup remover, you guys. I've used some really awesome cleansing oils and I've used some really bad cleansing oils and it's kind of like a toss-up when you use a cleansing oil like what is this going to be is this going to be a good one or a bad one there's rarely one that's like an in-between it's either really good or really bad this is one of those really really good ones so it smells really nice too it smells like almost like citrusy like a grapefruit it has a really yummy scent to it not that I would recommend eating it but it leaves your skin kind of nice and like oily feeling as well, but like in a good way. Kind of like a, when you're using a facial oil, kind of like that, like it just feels nice and hydrated when you're done. Now, granted, I use a face wash after this, so it kind of removes the oily feeling, but it is really, really nice, and it gets that makeup off, you guys. It gets my eye makeup off, no problem. It gets like eyelash glue off, no problem, mascara really really matte liquid lipsticks it gets it all off no problem and it smells really good so yeah i really recommend the brand leaders i think it's a good brand i've talked about a ton of their products and this is one that i also recommend okay guys i lied i have one more product to tell you about i almost forgot about this product because i forgot to pull it out before my video um, but it's another eye product i guess i've really been into eyes this month i don't know why but these are by Laura Mercier. Now this came in a kit. This is a holiday kit. Um, that kit was gifted to me by Octoly and Laura Mercier for review purposes. Uh, but you can pick it up at Sephora. I'll link it down below for you. But the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks are some of the best like stick eye products. Stick eye products, does that make sense? Like cream stick eye products. I talk about cream stick eye products all the time simply because they are so 
easy to use. I feel like I get ready so quick in the morning that I need easy products. I can't be fussing with stuff and using glitter glue and stuff like that. Like, I just need products that work really easy and work really fast, you know what I mean? And I feel like stick cream eyeshadows do that for me. So that kit comes with four colors in it. These are the two that I end up using the most. So the first one I swatched is in the color Amethyst. And it has like a purpley cool undertone to it. This is beautiful. And purples look so good on brown eyes. And I have brown eyes. So maybe that's why I'm drawn to this. But this is one of those products where you can kind of put it on, buff it out. I end up wearing these on my lower lash line more frequently than other places just because they're almost kind of like an eyeliner where you can just like you know buff it on and then kind of get your smudge brush and buff it out a little bit but once it's dry it stays put and it looks so pretty so pretty stays all day it's one of those things that you need like an oil to remove you know what I mean um, and then the other color I've been liking is in moonlight so that one is swatched right here now this one is almost like a taupey I'm gonna turn my light off for you guys it's like a taupey kind of champagne color. This is one that is a beautiful all over lid color and it's easy to apply. So you kind of put it on your bare lids, buff it out with your finger. I use a crease color usually to kind of mix everything together, blend everything out, bam, done with my eyes. So I really like these. Um, Lancome just came out with some stick eyeshadows that are really pretty too. I feel like stick eyeliners are kind of making a comeback, not eyeliners, eyeshadows are kind of making a comeback because I've noticed a lot more brands kind of re-releasing them. So yeah, this one comes in a kit that is really good, you guys. Actually, I have it sitting over here because I just talked about it in ugh, a haul video. The Laura Mercier Shadow and Lights Caviar Stick Collection. Now these are mostly um, cool tones, so keep that in mind. But there is a highlight, a line, and a fine. Really? I guess you're supposed to use them as a set. Whatever. <laughs> so there's a yeah, matte and metallic shades. Smooth and blend effortlessly. Sultry smoke. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. I think they smooth, smooth and blend effortlessly. <laughs> okay, guys. So those are the products that I have been loving this month. Make sure you let me know down below in the comment section what products you have loved this month so that I can check them out if I haven't already. And also let me know, do you wanna see an end of year favorites? Are you over the favorites? Let me know down below and I will be sure to film that for you or maybe not film that for you, whatever you guys vote. And I think that's about it for today. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.